Welcome everybody to Aztec Warfare. This event, lives will change. Titles on the line. With the worst winter storm behind us, we move forward with Aztec Warfare. Generation X looking to roll back the clock starting here tonight. Rogue Dog and X Pac representing DX looking to take home the tag team titles while Billy Gunn looks to take home the Lucha Underground title. What a development. And Nash Carter, MSK, and we gotta talk about this monumental announcement that Dario Cueto just gave out. This match is now a ladder match, which you would think would benefit the high flyers, Wesley and Nash Carter. However, Road Dog and X Pac just last week used the numbers game with Billy Gunn to beat the hell out of Drew McIntyre and MSK. So you gotta wonder if maybe this might benefit. Them, we'll have to see tonight. With tag titles on the line, you have to expect these DX to be on their NSK. Tag titles underway. Currently, Road Dog and X Pac just teeing off a Wesley Nash Carter. Obviously, it's a ladder match, so therefore, it is no disqualification. Tornado tag. With X Pac showing that he still got it. The history that had in the underground in a ladder match, of course, a virtual audience. People watching at home may remember a certain legendary ladder match for the tag titles with one of the most gift worthy spots in wrestling history. And you gotta wonder if something like that might happen again tonight in this match. Of course, that moment being a couple legendary on Helico dives. Unbelievable to this day. Now Road Dog in the ring with Nash Carter dropping the elbow off the top. Meanwhile, outside the ring, X Pac and Wesley going counter for counter, and Road Dog. Nash Carter gets out of the way, unable to capitalize. Road Dog sends Nash into the corner and. Take a look at the rest of the matches here for this first part in Aztec Warfare. We have Prince Puma and Santos Escobar looking to settle their beef and in our main event. Trish Stratus and Tessa Blanchard fill the Lucha Underground's title. And now, Nash Carter climbing the ladder. Looking to grab the tag titles. But X-Pac needs them there. Now X-Pac. Power bomb to the ladder. Now Wesley and Road Dog in the ring as well, but 
slam. That's Pac side slam. Oh, and now Wesley, two on one predicament. What's he gonna do? He is going. Well, he is being grabbed by the road dog as X Pac climbing the ladder. And now gonna take home the gold. Road dog sends Wesley to the outside. And he's taking this to the outside. Now X Pac all alone. Nash Carter or Wesley, someone's gotta get in here. He's absorbing some tough hits now. Yeah, but you gotta pick Wesley, the Nash Carter managed to get there. Wesley pulls the ladder from underneath. And Nash Carter! Chair from the top. X Pac rolling out of. Rolling after a devastating attack. And now Wesley, Nash Carter. Super kick and Zaguri combination to the road dog. The sound of this now they're looking to take this 2 on 1 advantage. Wesley looking to grind down road dog. Obviously, you're not going to get a submission victory, but doing some damage. Road Dog, though, able to escape. Such a veteran. X Pac, though, back into the ring. Nash Carter drops the Road Dog. X Pac caught by Wesley. And now, another double team. Kick combo by MSK. And Wesley managed to connect at least a little bit. And Nash Carter. Dropping some kicks and Wesley dive. X Pac gets out of the way. And now X Pac looking for the X Factor. Nash Carter, big knee, Hurricane Rana combo. He's looking to completely render this leg useless. Stump puller leg snap, very effective. Now Wesley and X Pac down inside the ring. Nash Carter, Road Dog outside of the ring, both with ladders. Road Dog just clobbers Nash Carter with a ladder. West gets the better there. Kick. Road Dog. That's Wesley in his clutches. All right, back to it. Returning Not for right. long, though, as Wes now sends Road Dog to the corner. Nash Carter he back in the ring. It. German it's suplex and X Pac to Wesley. And out DX looking to double team Nash Carter. Or just dump him outside the ring. That works too. They're really thinking here, X Pac. Experienced in ladder matches. Pulls out a ladder, a ladder bridge. That can't be good. X Pac. This deep into a match is where trouble rises, where injuries may be. Taking it to Nash currently as Wesley looking to stop the road dog from meeting with the tag titles. There's a very real possibility that DX can hold all the gold, and wouldn't that be something as Wesley drops the road dog? And now, Wesley, final flash! Road Dog got the knees up. Meanwhile, outside the ring, X Pac to Nash Carter sent time through the ladder. Nash Carter being put to the ringer as Wesley inside the ring. Snap man. Drop kick to the Road Dog. And now, Wesley, top of the ladder. Oh my god! Salt from the top of the ladder! Wesley has experience here in the temple. He knows what he had to do. And now Wesley looking to win the gold for MSK, but Road Dog riding back up the ladder. And oh no. Oh no. Road Dog! Air raid crash from the top of a ladder. And Wesley might be done. And now X Pac. This mailing the announce table. Nash Carter in the ring. Hits the road dog with a ladder. A little bit of payback from earlier. Really outside the ring. X Pac 
Back inside the ring though. And now X-Pac with Nash in his clutches. Oh my God! Nash Carter, done. He's dead, he's actually dead. Roll Dog taking flight. Over Wesley. Wesley realizes that MSK is in some serious trouble right now. Now Wes. Road Dog on the announce table. That X-Pac dismantles. Now Wesley. Leaving it all on the line. Spoon salt through the announce table. And Ash Carter's done it. MSK leaving it all on the line. Honestly, Nash Carter, how is he even alive right place. now? Wesley, highlight reel, worthy moments. Right. And now MSK are the Lucha Underground Tag Team Champions. We gotta catch our breath after that ladder match. Coming out, Santos Escobar, and you see Sean Ace's logo, the remnants of their last man standing war. Escobar may be looking to take a piece out of his opponent here tonight, an old rival, once again on the big stage. Prince Puma here in the underground has not had the best luck since coming back to the temple and a lot of it has been because of Santos Escobar who has on numerous occasions cost Prince Puma valuable matches. It was only recently that Prince Puma was finally able to get one up on Escobar the Master Hunter, and now Puma, looking to get even more revenge here tonight. This superstar is coming in with a lot of enthusiasm and energy right now. But what's going to happen when the excitement wears off and he comes to realize he's in a fight against Escobar and Puma? This match is underway. Like I said, the war that these two have had in the past as Escobar looking to fire first. Puma catches a kick at big DDT. Obviously, these two know each other so well from their original wars in the temple and now here 
And of course, you got to remember how this started. Santos Escobar, for whatever reason, costing Prince Puma, well, pretty much eliminating Prince Puma from Guerra Atomica. And then when Prince Puma looking to claim a world title opportunity, Escobar interfered again. Escobar with some harsh words for Puma and for Conan, who is, from what we've seen, back to mentoring Prince Puma. Puma, though, able to get a little bit of revenge, hitting Escobar with the recoil and a 630. And now Puma looking to do it again to Escobar, get a three count, and finally put the Master Hunter behind him. Both these men will be in the Aztec Warfare match, which will be next week. The winner gets an opportunity at the Lucha Underground Championship, which will be won by either Drew McIntyre or Billy Gunn. Prince Puma, though, taking risks as he is known to do. Puma. Off the top rope, Moonsault lands on his feet. Escobar got out of the way. Hurricane Rana on the floor. The referee is counting. Escobar spine buster on the floor. Escobar with a spine buster that will make Double A proud. Escobar talking his smack. Bates Puma back into the ring. And now, drop kick. Landing Puma down. Caught the leg. Another DT by the Prince. Puma, Irish of Escobar into the ropes. Ducks under. Leapfrog. Stop. Santos counters. Escobar ducks under. Leapfrog. Big uppercut. Currently this match has been all Escobar. And as soon as I say that, Prince Puma counters with another DDT. He's begging him to get up so he can put him back down. Prince Puma looking to get the crowd on his side, the virtual crowd. Puma, look at the athleticism. That was a thing of beauty right there. Puma sends Escobar to the corner. Escobar gets out of dodge. Big knee by Escobar. Irish whip sending Puma to the outside. Back outside the ring goes Prince Puma. And Escobar. From the depths of hell, a beautiful suicide dive. That's what that was. Sliding back in from the floor now. Looks like he has his finger on the trigger now. And Escobar off the ropes, cross body misses. That was not as beautiful as the suicide dive. And now Puma with Escobar on his shoulders. And now Puma, looking to keep the momentum going. Trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near. Check out the springboard. Puma, off the ropes. Looking for the clothesline, and he hits it. As the close on that first got Escobar's attention last week as Puma. Now building momentum. Nice neck breaker. Now in the middle rope. Escobar though on his feet. Puma drop kick misses. 
Now Escobar. Do Buster to Prince Puma. He gets the shoulder up. And Escobar letting everyone know how smart he is. And a nice leg drop. Escobar sending Puma to the corner. Just teeing off with chops. And Snake Eyes into the buckle. And Lana and Escobar. He's just getting beaten on all fronts here. He can really stand to give back as good as he's getting right about now. Hits in the section. I think we're gonna Escobar see gut buster. Leg drop again, but Puma gets out of the way. Close line. Rolls through, keeping the momentum going. Prince Puma back inside the ring. Caught! Escobar, single leg drop kick. Just once again, Escobar stifling any momentum that Prince Puma attempts to build. Stops the kick. But he couldn't plan for that one with a DT for Puma. And now a little vertigo for Escobar. Cover. Kick out. Escobar turns it around. He saw it coming. That's devastating. And Spuma. Caught by Escobar. Sent again to the outside. He's positioning himself. Closing in. Escobar having his way with Prince Puma tonight. Another beautiful dive. Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spitting in the face of danger. Driven. Puma sent into the barricade. Puma able to avoid sending Escobar to the barricade now. Meeting the barricade. And oh my God! Uranagi lands back first. On the barricade goes Escobar. Sliding back in. It's Puma. Spring 450. 450. And this is what Escobar didn't want. 630. Kick out. Surviving that maneuver. Escobar may have a dive of Prince Puma. Showing that he is above everybody when it comes to high flying. Escobar looking to take the leg out of his leg. Fails. Still able to catch Puma though. Wrenches the arm. Nice drop kick from Escobar. Puma went high risk. That time it didn't pay off. And Escobar will take advantage. And we see him take yet another shot to the body. You can see it in these superstars' faces. They're in serious pain. Once again caught by Escobar. But no one is thinking about quitting. Now. As Escobar think he's got Puma on his shoulders. The thrill of the hunt. But Puma gets the shoulder up. Incredible to think. After everything we've witnessed, we are still at a stalemate. That was a good opportunity to end things. Now he's got to hope the opportunity presents itself again. Listen to this. Get in the corner. Get Puma able to get out of there. Nice suplex. More than last, the strength of Puma. Prince Puma. Now with all the momentum on his side. Wait a minute. Puma still the hunt. The disrespect to Escobar. Who gets the shoulder up. But imagine that if Prince Puma pinned Escobar. 
with the thrill of the hunt. That was the best weapon in the arsenal, but it wasn't enough to produce an end result. I think Escobar realizes danger is coming. Puma just about won that match. You can sense the ride these fans have been on, and I'm right there with them. with a punch. Now both these men, both these warriors, strike for strike. Escobar getting the better of this exchange. And now, and that one does the trick. Back and forth action. Both these men knew each other so well. But at the end of the day, Santos Escobar might have just proven himself right over Chris Puma here tonight. Tessa Blanchard making her way to the ring to add another bit to her legacy. Tessa Blanchard, lots of ups and downs and lots of downs in her career. But winning the Lucha Underground title from Trish Stratus would be a big up. The Lucha Underground Women's Champion, Trish Stratus, has had a hell of a reign so far, fending off Jessica Knight and Dakota Kai and Tony Storm and many others. Can she fend off Tessa Blanchard? Or is that going to be too much for Trish? And this is a woman that has had a lot of talk around her. A lot of people wondering if the hype around her is warranted. Yeah, and this is now her opportunity to justify all that hype. An opportunity to show why she's been creating such a buzz. A win here. Trish Stratus. Yeah, then there's Trish Stratus. Said that she won. Take on all comers. In WWE's women's division. Tessa Blanchard. Top before, and she wants to be there at the top of her game. No matter what that takes. Stopping down. A former Impact Wrestling heavyweight champion. To the midsection, has the arm all tied up. However, Tessa Blanchard has definitely hit rock bottom in her career, looking to crawl her way back up. And really, what better way to make a name for yourself again than here in the underground, in the temple? Meanwhile, Trish Stratus couldn't be any more opposite from Tessa Blanchard. A Hall of Famer, Oof, a multi-time women's Somehow champion, has to turn the tide. came back to the underground oh, the to prove Trish herself Stratus. against the youth today. She adjusts it and reverses it. So far, Trish she has Stratus done a successful the job. Like I said, long list of names, also including like Lacey Evans. Like Trish Stratus and Tegan Knox. Like Trish Stratus has faced a lot of women here in the underground, and she's beaten most of them. Her only real blemish up to this point was Jessica Knight. But then again, Trish Stratus was able to avenge that loss, if you will. It was a ladder match at Guerra Atomica. Stratus versus Knight versus Dakota Kai. Stratus sunset flip. That's a kick out. I've got a feeling she's gonna live to regret that. But like I said, get a Tommy Kell ladder match for the Lucha Underground Women's Title, the first ever. There can only be one first ever. 
Stratus considered the past, Dakota Kai the present, Jessica Knight the future, but in the end, it was Trish Stratus who left with the gold as she's defended against everyone, looking to add another one to her long reign against Tessa Blanchard. Trish Stratus, spine buster. This is your main event here tonight. As Trish Stratus understands, it's going to take a lot to put Tessa away. Now, Tessa, the top rope. Trish Stratus. Beautiful Hurricane Rana from the top rope. Tessa, though, on her feet. Just drops Trish Stratus. And a big Now Tessa, look at this arm trap, nice suplex. By a suplex. Going for the Trish diving sent on, but Stratus able to get out of there. Drop Trish missed that big boot, knee. and Tessa just drop kicked her leg. Hammerlock. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, the arm taking the brunt of that. I know the interesting thing about this match is what happens to the other person oh, if they the lose. I told you. Their story, Trish and Tessa, on what this match means to them, where they've been up to this point in their careers. But what happens if they lose? What if Tessa loses? She probably won't be able to go up anymore. What if Trish loses? Is your time officially over? We shall see. This is your main event here tonight for the first part of Aztec Warfare. She's trying to... Stratus the looking for the chick kick. Tessa ducked and now Trish. With the tee off more on Tessa. Round and round we go. And coming up in Joker the next Hansen. chapter of Aztec she Warfare. Io Shirai and Liv Morgan there in a rematch. Goes. The debuts of Nikki Bella and Bianca Belair. The Lucha the Underground ring. Championship. Drew McIntyre defends against Billy Gunn. We've heard that McIntyre might be injured after the ambush by D-Generation X last week. We'll have to see how that plays out. And of course, the final part of Aztec Warfare next week. The titular match. 20 men or women. Open door policy. The winner becomes the number one contender for the Lucha Underground Championship. Will it be McIntyre? Will it be Billy Gunn? Will we see one of these two women in that match? And it's reverse pain for that mistake. That'll turn your lights out. And Trish and Tessa crawling outside the ring. The referee is counting. It is referee's discretion. Referee elects to start a count. Although I would highly doubt that he would let this end in a count. I'm sure Dario Quiero would have him killed. She's going for it. It's Trish looking to do some more damage to Tessa Blanchard. That unraveled on Trish. She re-enters the ring now. In the ring, Tessa followed by Trish. Big boot missed. Superstar showing great awareness of that. Tessa ducks the kick. Kick to the midsection. Arm trapped. Superplex on the arm. Right to the arm. Tessa. King off with strikes. Finishes off with a big time clothesline. And now looking to. And Wear down started. Trish Stratus. Look at this brutality. This is how you torture your opponent. Oh my God, this is hard to watch. She's fighting back. Trish though, and Trish is big forearm shot takes down Tessa. Stomp to the arm. Trish has made it a mission to take her opposition. That's a chop is Tessa. Irish Swift sending buckle. Trish into the corner. In the corner is not a good spot to be. Suplex in the corner goes Trish. Hammerlock. Uh oh, 
And now Tessa seemed to be doing a lot of damage to the arm. You saw her drop Trish on it several times and just then, Hammerlock, arm breaker. And speaking of Hammerlock, DDT. Trish's chances are fading. Cover. Trash with the shoulder up. I do not know how they got up from that. Operating on pure instinct and adrenaline right now. And now it's reload time. Time to find another moment to pull off that one more time. What is next for Tessa Blanchard? Sending Trish into the corner. Trish elbows her way out of there. That's the kick. Chick kick missed. That's at least twice now that Trish has looked for it. And once again, just can't seem to hit it. And a, at least a third time missed. Tessa seems to have that scouted. In fact, Tessa is really countering all of Trish's offense. Trish finally hitting Tessa with some strikes. And she's gone after her opponent's core a few times now. Finally, Trish looking to take momentum she back. The favor there. Tessa though looking to say no. Big knee. Caught by Stratus. The strength of Stratus. Power by. She steers clear of that one. Absolutely ring shaking power bomb and Trish Stratus looking to get back in this match but Tessa might have similar to Santos Escobar stuffed the momentum and again Tessa damage to the arm Stratus won't be able to hook the Stratus faction if Tessa keeps doing damage to the arm as Tessa up to this point has blocked the chick kick. I mean, what's going to be there for Trish to hit? That's at least one big move scouted and several more that Trish won't be able to utilize as effectively. Now Tessa to the top rope. Diving attack, nobody home. But Tessa able to rebound. Luthez press. Look at those shots. She begins to stir back up, but does it look good? Tessa. Now again, grinding oh, down no, Trish. Now. Keeping momentum on her side. Trish though, fighting from behind. Sent into the ropes. Just Dropped by Tessa, thrown into the air without a care in the world. Trish, Tessa, counter for counter again. Chick kick again. Tessa ducks. And now Tessa back to the top rope. On the top rope. Looking for something, but she missed. Luckily for her, Trish is still stunned. Hammerlock DDT. Tessa tried to get flashy. Probably looking for the final kill shot. And because she couldn't hit it, Trish able to get the shoulder up. The heaviest artillery has been used, but it's not enough for the three. Listen to this place. It's electric. Dodges the attack. Now Tessa. Trish to the apron. Shoulder to Shoulders the midsection. Mid Sunset flip. Power. Power on the floor. Stratus needs to figure this out. Somehow Trish has to turn the tide. And again, Tessa grinding down Tess Trish. Whoa. Credit where credit oh is due. Tessa Blanchard has come in here with a game plan. And so far, she's been able to utilize it effectively. Stratus, though, trying desperately to keep her title. She doesn't know what she would do if she loses the title. That unraveled on Trish. 
The strength of Trish again. Power slam the floor. Stratus breaking the ref's count. She wants to at least win this honorably. Stratus bulldog to the floor. Ooh, she responds with a counter. A counter answered by another counter. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. With the counter. Stratus. Tessa on the ropes. Trish looking to maybe retain her title. Trying to desperately get Tessa back into the ring. Again, missed a kick. Stratus has not hit a single chip kick. Tessa has effectively game planned for it. And again, all the damage to the arms of Trish up to this point. Kick to the section, blocked. Now Tessa looking for some knees, but Trish able to get out. Look at Tessa Blanchard rolling up Trish Stratus. Oh, and a kick out just barely from Trish. Kick to the midsection. Tessa once again ducks the chicks. Camera lock. You can't take any more of that. DDT connects. Tessa Blanchard has done it. Shining bright like a diamond in the sky, Tessa Blanchard has won the Lucha Underground Women's title. Good night, everybody.